Hey guys, it's Kirill again with another ROM review and this time I've got AOSB Need ROM. So yes, Need ROM now has an AOSB based ROM. So this one is made by the same developer, um, underscore sale underscore. So yeah, let's get into the ROM now. Uh, first of all, what you will see is the lock screen which is similar to AOSB. Now this one is AOSB but it is not AOSB as in a Super Nexus. Um, context uh, this is actually compiled recompiled from slim cat repository so that means it will have a lot of slim uh, slim cat features so let's get into the uh, stock settings now first of all you would uh, see in the about phone page you can see it is based on 4.4.2 so the latest and greatest uh, need rom it's a custom kernel uh, AOSP Need ROM Slim 442 Beta 2.1 so it's uh, version 2.1 so yes uh, this while using this I feel that this might as well be called the unofficial Slim Cat ROM because it is uh, entirely derived from the Slim Cat ROM so yeah it could have been set as the um, unofficial Slim Cat so it does have Slim Center and it does have all the OTA settings but this won't really work because well it's not a real slim cat it does have slim sizer which is one of the one of a great um, app to get great tool to actually um, delete whatever APK files in the system files you don't want but be careful with it it can cause uh, unstability issues so yeah let's get to uh, interface settings now interface setting has battery icon it you can change the battery uh, in all of these ways you can change the percentage or uh, circle whatever you want you can even change the color of it color to whatever you want you can just change it that's pretty cool um, notification again you have quick setting now slim quick quick setting is enabled in this one so that that means that the quick setting is kind of if you have used the Masics ROM the Damascus ROM actually uses this one so it's not the other way around so it has uh, more features but um, a lot of them are different so yeah these are the options which are available in slim cats um, tiles and layout settings so yeah it does have styles so you that is one of the best one of the uh, advantages of using this one uh, so you can change the tile layout and uh, number of tiles per row so that's pretty cool uh, status bar setting again you have option to change the clock uh, clock and date setting you can have um, center clock or right aligned clock small or big AM PM indicator date indicator whatever you want so that, these are options available uh, uh, slim real slim dark okay this one is available which uh, changes the ROM to dark thing so this one is more uh, useful than a lot of the other ROMs a lot of the other ROMs does have this implementation but from what I have known um, this one really really changes everything to dark so that's pretty cool um, rest of the features are similar to whatever you expect from a slim uh, from a uh, KitKat ROM so nothing special in there uh, let me show you guys the uh, RAM usage which is pretty substantial the RAM usage is 397 MB used you may not be able to see that yeah 439 megs is free so that's a pretty great uh, RAM free RAM so yeah these are the apps with which comes it is it does have Nova launcher as its default launcher app the camera setting now camera is a bit different it does it is a proprietary camera you, you have uh, different uh, options rather than the stock options of the other ROMs so it does have a uh, clear view uh, rather uh, let me just get that it does have a true view option location everything from here so you can even change the focus mode to fixed or whatever so that's pretty cool it, it is a more of a I would say it is a better implementation than most of the ROMs but you can change it uh, in the forum uh, there is an option to change the camera APK so that is it let me show you guys the entry to benchmark scores which is well again it is similar to what you would expect is 18876 which is pretty cool 
uh, all the ROMs now I believe is uh, having a bit of the similar kind of a uh, score so I'm not even feeling uh, the need to show this one because it's similar every ROM has the same amount of score it's all fast um, I believe the AOSP and the stock ROM have the only difference now is the RAM usage this one is considerably less RAM using than the stock ROM so yeah let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool so here is the boot animation for neat ROM by seal okay you can see the neat logo with Samsung Galaxy S3 and rotating halos around the logo so that's really cool I guess that much is it. Uh, not much to say about this ROM. This is more of an AOSP ROM than a uh, Cyanogen mod ROM, but not to a factor, not to an extent that it is similar to Super Nexus. No, it is kind of in the middle. Again, if you have used Slimcat ROM, you will feel right at home. So, yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you want to useful. See you guys next time.